So apparently there was a lot of drama that recently hit Twitter uh, regarding John Rocha. I hope I'm saying his name right. John Rocha, Rocha, whatever. John Rocha came out with a very racist tweet. And like a typical liberal, they like to tell other people what they should think, what they should do regarding diversity, right? It's always, and, and I don't know what this man's race is. He looks like a white man. He could be Spanish for all I know. I, I'm not really sure. But it's always the insane liberals that want to come out and tell people what to do and what to think regarding diversity in entertainment, TV shows, and whatnot. Now, he actually works for Rotten Tomato in the sense that he is an approved critic for Rotten Tomatoes. Now, Rotten Tomatoes is bought and paid for. We know this after the whole scandal with the Rings of Power and, and how the reviews are heavily, heavily controlled. Just look at The Woman King. The Woman King shows that Rotten Tomatoes is heavily bought and paid for too. But John Rocha basically came out and said that unless you have a Latino person present, that a white person cannot leave a review on the show Andor. Now, why is that? It's because Andor is a Hispanic male lead show. So he thinks that unless the white person has a Hispanic person with them at the time of their review, they are not allowed to actually leave a review. This is hardcore racist gatekeeping or just just racism. That's all it is. It's basically just racism. So we're going to get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment. Let me know what you think of today's story. And let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, before we start today's video, just a really, 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 really quick announcement. We're at 7,845 subscribers. Holy shit. You guys are amazing. We're climbing very quickly and we're almost there to 8,000 subscribers. So if you are new here and you want to help us grow, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would honestly greatly appreciate it. And last but not least, this Saturday, we do have Saturday Night Hypnosis, the episodic format that we are following for our live streams it's happening it's going to be great we're adding another content creator to the panel so we're going to have six of us this saturday and it's going to be epic conversation so do not miss it the video is already scheduled on my channel go click the video in schedule and go uh hit the notification that way you don't miss the live stream but let's get into the article because this is going to be some really interesting stuff that john rocha said so it says ron tomatoes approved cr uh, critic john rocha deletes racist tweet claiming white people shouldn't review and or without a guest who is Latino or has immigrant experience. So once again, okay, why is it that these people, after they put up a tweet, they always delete it? Why do you always delete it? None of them ever want to stand by what they say. It's actually kind of weird. I don't understand this whole thing about let's rile up the masses and then let's delete the tweet because we realized we were wrong. Like, bro, just stand by what you said. And if you can't stand by what you said, then apologize for what you said. That's it. Don't delete the tweet because that looks really cowardly when you delete tweets. I don't understand why people do that shit. So it says Rotten Tomatoes approved critic and YouTuber John Rocha deleted a tweet, a racist tweet that pushed the idea that white people should not review the latest Star Wars series and or without a Latino guest. On September 20th, Rocha took to his Twitter account where he wrote some Star Wars shows might get pissed at me, but if I see any Andor review that features all white people, I'm going to call it out. He added Andor has a Latino lead and deals with the migrant experience. Get Latinos or people with immigrant experience in this space to be your guest. Shut the fuck up, bro. Like, like who are... I don't understand. Oh, my God. Like, why, why do you have to have a Latino person there for you to be a film critic? Or, in this case, a TV show critic? Why do... Do you have a Latino person with you? And if you are Latino, does it fucking matter? Can you do your job properly and review the show? If not, why do you then have to have a Latino person there? Like, what do... What do they being there have anything to do with the actual reviewing of the show? It doesn't mean anything. It's like really the most stupid thing I've ever heard. I don't understand why they love to use minorities as gimmicks. That's what they do. They use us as gimmicks. So here's the original tweet where you can see it here from John Roach himself before he apparently deleted it, of course. It says, in a subsequent tweet, he wrote, already blocked three people. Oh, this is going to be fun. Respond like an asshole. Get blocked like an asshole. Well, apparently you delete tweets like an asshole because you can't stand by what you say. It says Rocha initially doubled down on his comments, quote, tweeting original his tweet, writing, intelligent people know I was asking for inclusion of Latino Star Wars reviewers on predominantly white reviewer shows. Who cares? Who cares? Those people created those shows, especially if you're talking about YouTube channels. 
Those people created those shows. They have every right to decide who's on their show. Who are you to tell them that they have to have certain people on their shows? Who gives a fuck? Can they do the job? Can they review shows? Do their fans love their content? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Why are you so focused on race? I really want to know what the race of this guy is. I really want to know. Let me look up something really quick. So apparently Rocha is a, a Portuguese last name, surname. So he's probably not even Hispanic. I, I don't know for sure. Don't quote me. But it's always the non-fucking Hispanics telling Hispanics what to fucking do. And it's really, really sickening at this point. It says he continued, but it's funny seeing so many people outing themselves in these replies as angry racists because I dare to say or I would call it out. Oh, boy. And you know what's also funny, too? So these hardcore left left wing lunatics, OK, the hardcore left wing lunatics, they come out and they love to feel morally superior. They love to feel like they're so fucking grand because they want to say something that nobody else dares say. Um, I don't know if you looked on social media lately, but it's very easy to side with the left because the left literally controls all of social media and media as a whole. So you coming out saying left-wing talking points doesn't make you brave. You're just going along with the crowd. You are literally doing nothing brave whatsoever. You have it easy because you are picking the side that everybody in social media agrees with, even though privately there's a lot of people that do not agree with it. Even if they come out on social media and say they agree with it, a lot of people are hidden about their true beliefs and their feelings because they don't want to face backlash or whatever the case may be. But you just you try to pretend like you're brave because you're coming out and speaking left wing talking points. You need to shut the fuck up. You're not brave at all, which is why you deleted your tweet. You're not brave in the slightest. You're taking literally the easiest route possible by siding with the left. And I'm not saying you're wrong for siding with the left. You're able to do whatever the hell you want to do. But don't pretend like you're a fucking knight in shining armor by doing so. So it says when he was called out for trying to exclude white people from reviewing Andor, Rocha replied, no, I wasn't. I said I'd call out any white shows who were not including Latino or people with migrant experience, reviewers or guests. Once again, none of that shit matters. None of it matters to reviewing a show. He says, I didn't say they couldn't do their shows or that people shouldn't watch their shows. That's exclusion. But you knew that already. No, what you're trying to say is that if they don't have Latinos or immigrant experienced people, that they shouldn't do their shows. Literally, that you're going to call them out for not having representation? Like, who the fuck are you to tell people what to do with their shows or not? It says, good old YouTuber Ryan Kinnell, the best Klansman, by the way, rebuked Rocha, writing, the funny part is, even if I did talk to someone who qualifies for this, shout out to my nerdy home, and they don't like the series or they don't like the modern day politics, her opinion would be dismissed by people like you. And that's 100% true. That's 100% true. And that's what I'm saying. Like, these people try to dictate what minorities think and do but they themselves would actually dismiss any minority that wants to come out and say they don't agree with the talking points that they're saying. They'll dismiss it. They won't even acknowledge it. If they do acknowledge it, they try to make them seem like they're coached by some evil white man. He elaborated on this point on Geeks and Gamers Tuesday night main event live stream saying it's almost like that's completely 100% true because stupid effing cocksuckers like this, that this is the only way they know how to operate. Uh, fucking show for diversity, fucking show for Disney, show for these fucking corporations, just completely hypocritical, he added. YouTuber novelist, comic book creator, and bounding into comics contributor John Del Arroz also commented on Roach's tweet saying, it all comes down to race. It all comes down to skin color with these people. That's it 100% of the time. They're obsessed with it to the point where that's all they ever notice. And honestly, guys, that's 100% true, and I say that all the time. I said it in this video. I say it in other videos. These people are so obsessed with, with race and skin color that it's all they ever see. It is a driving force behind their creations. I don't even want to call it creation at this point because they're not, like, if you notice, most of the stuff that's coming out is remakes or retellings or reimaginings. That's what's coming out. It's not actual any kind of creativity that somebody's trying to make a brand new IP. And when it is a brand new IP, it's usually through the eyes or the lenses of an extreme hardcore leftist. So anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know if you thought it's a story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.